Hello, Mr. Thompson here, again, talking about simultaneous equations, but this time we're going to look at a word problem, all right, an application problem, sort of a real life thing, a scenario where we might uh, actually need to use uh, systems of equations to figure something out, all right? Um, so, there are some uh, hot tips, some very important uh, suggestions, all right, some steps. Uh, that are really important when you're solving a uh, word problem in general, uh, but especially as well with simultaneous equations, some specific uh, ones here. But a lot of what I'm going to talk about here applies to just about any word problem as well. So let's look. First step. The first step to word problems is to define, especially with algebra, define the unknown quantities, quantity or quantities. Um, with simultaneous equations, it's going to be multiple quantities, okay? We need to define them as pronumerals or, or variables, so letters or symbols that we're going to use to represent these unknown quantities, all right? The next step is to use the given information, so you need to read the problem, interpret the information, and figure out what uh, relationships do I know between these uh, quantities, um, and what equations can I write that represent the situation, okay? That's the trickiest part, really, all right? So that's the part you should probably practice if this is uh, a hard... Uh, uh, topic for you. Okay, then you just need to solve the equations. All right, I'm going to do that uh, today um, by hand. We'll do that algebraically, but then at the end we'll also do that uh, really quickly actually with the CAS calculator. All right, I'll show you how to do that. Okay, and then of course you check your answer. We'll talk about that um, when, especially when you're doing it by hand. Okay, finally, that is not just getting the answer, getting the numbers is not the last step. The last step is to write it out because you were given a problem as uh, in words um, explained and you need to explain it uh, in similar words so using it in a sentence writing the answer in a sentence alright so let's dive right into an example okay um, I'll speed up my writing here a bit because there's a fair lot of it okay a student scored higher on a maths test than on an English test that would be the case for me um, if the sum of the scores is 164 and the difference is 22 find the score find the scores it should say the student got on each test all right so we don't know what they scored um, this is maybe you know a little bit of a ridiculous situation this isn't the kind of thing that you would do much in real life usually you're just given the scores uh, but um, you know if you had a really annoying um, like set of teachers like your English teacher and your math teacher were like hey let's turn our feedback into a uh, math problem maybe they would do this all right so you want to find out what you scored on the tests um, and so you're going to need to do this. So the first step is to define the uh, unknown quantities, the thing that you're trying to find, all right, the thing you're trying to work out uh, as variables or pro numerals, all right. So we are. It says we are. It says find the scores uh, again. That should say scores um, that the student got on each test. We need to define those as pro numerals. So with letters, right. We can use whatever letters we want. X and Y are the common ones, or you can use letters that represent, that kind of stand for the thing that we're um, looking for. So you could use M uh, for the maths test, the math score, and E for the English score. And it says, so we say, let M equal the math score and E equal the English score. All right, that step is done. We've got two different quantities, one for each of the things we're trying to find. Now we need to write these into equations. So when you think about what do we know about the scores, okay? So it says the sum of scores is 164. Now, here in Australia, and I think in uh, like England as well, the word sum can be used, you know, for any sort of arithmetic. You know, you're doing sums, you're practicing sums, you could be doing your times tables. Um, but in a, word, in a problem like this, the word sum always means uh, addition. So what that means is if we add the two scores together, then we get 164. It will never that will never mean times or anything like that in a situation like this. Okay, so we're adding and we're adding the two scores, so m plus e, and we know that when we add them together, we get 164. All right. Then it says the difference is 22. Difference always means subtraction. Okay, so uh, and the difference is 22. So m take away e is 22. Now, could we have done? We could have done. Uh, e plus m here. We could have written those the other way around because adding two numbers together doesn't matter which order, but subtraction, the order matters. And we know that they scored higher on the maths. So we're going to take the higher one and subtract the lower one. Okay, the higher one, the higher one, subtract the lower one. Okay, so that's why it's m take away e. All right, and that's very important. Otherwise, you'll get the answer wrong. Probably just the negative. Something will be negative when it should be positive, and that you'll probably like work that out. Hey, you're not going to score negative. 
uh, score on a test or whatever, hopefully. Um, anyway, we have our two equations, so now we can just solve these, all right? I'm gonna do this by hand and I'm gonna use a process called elimination because it's actually really easy with a set of equations like this. I'm gonna add um, everything uh, down the line. The M's are lined up, the E's are lined up, and the numbers are lined up. So I'm just gonna actually add everything together. So M plus M uh, is 2M. Positive E plus negative E is 0E, so nothing. Uh, so 2M plus 0, and then 164 plus 22 is 186. So we get 2m plus 0 equals 186, and the 0 doesn't do anything, so we can kind of get rid of that, and then divide by 2, and we get m equals 93. So that actually tells us one of our uh, test scores. The, they scored 93 on the maths. All right. Now we need to take that and plug it into one of the other equations to figure out e. And we know that 93 plus e is 164. So if we subtract, uh, sorry, the 93. I put the 93 there because that's the math score. So I have substituted that for m in this equation. So m plus e, so we can do 93 plus e equals 164. Subtract 93 from both sides and we get e equals 71. Okay, so we have our answers now. The math score is 93, the English score is 71, but we need to check our answer. And I'm gonna do that by plugging it into the other answer. You could just do this in your head by saying, well, is the difference between them 22? And you could probably do the work and see that it is, but I'll just write it out like this. Um, and we've got 93 take away 71. Does that equal 22? We, we, I've used the uh, green equation, which is now behind my head. I've used the, the green equation and I'm saying, when I plug the values in, does that equation work? And of course, 93 take away 71 is 22, or you could think 71 plus 22 is 93, and that kind of thing. Finally, <clears throat> the last step is to write this into a sentence. So we have to write, the student scored, or she scored, or he scored, or whatever, scored 93 on maths and 71 on English. You can write that however you want, as long as it's a sort of uh, sentence that makes sense, all right? Um, doesn't have to be, you know, any particular set of words, but just make it, um, uh, you know, make it work. Make it an actual sentence, all right? Now, let's look at how to do this really quickly on the CAS calculator, okay? Um, now, here's the thing. The CAS calculator is great. It's going to save you a little bit of the calculation work. All right, but it's not gonna save you. You still have to define the variables. You still need to find the equations uh, and you're still gonna need to write the answer at the end. It just saves you all this, um, you know, this work of these calculations and stuff like that and doing that. Okay, and, and on, when, if you get more complex equations, uh, it can be really handy, all right? So I'm going to uh, add a, a new calculator. I'm going to my uh, calculator here so I can control it. I'm going to go hit a one uh, for a new document uh, and start just a new calculator. And if I go to menu and then hit three for algebra, then you can see number seven is solve system of equations. So I'm going to hit seven for solve system. And these are linear equations. They are straight lines. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and choose solve system of linear equations, which is two. Now it says how many equations? and what are the variables. So it's already set for two, um, which is the exact number of equations that we're doing right now. So I'll leave that. Um, and it says, what variables do you want to use? Um, we can use X and Y. We'll just, I didn't use X and Y when I wrote my problem. So I'm gonna actually go M and E, all right, to keep it uh, consistent. All right, it says separated by commas. All right, you can call them anything you want. You could even call it maths, uh, English, but that's just a bit of work to type all that out. So M and E are, are a good way to go. All right, and it gives you this set of brackets, this lin solve, which of course you can just type in your calculator with the letters uh, if you feel like that's faster. It's probably not unless you're using a laptop like I am. Um, and we need to plug our equations in there. So I'm gonna go M plus E equals, uh, what was it, 164, and then down to the next one, and it was M take away E equals 22. And that's literally it. I hit enter and it gives me 93 and 71 and I need to interpret those, make sure I get them, don't mix them up. I know the 93 is math, the so 71 is English, and um, so I need to write out that sentence, just like I did, it's behind my back now, and behind the calculator, but um, it's there, let's, let's have a look at it. She scored 93 on maths and 71 on English. You still have to do a lot of that work, you still have to do a lot of the thinking. The calculator will not do that for you, and if you do those equations wrong, um, the calculator's gonna give you the wrong answer, so uh, make sure you know how to do that stuff. Good luck. I uh, will talk to you next time.